Hello friends, I am Neeraj. Let us continue our work on the uh, full stack blog project. So that uh, we are going to create a blog for which uh, we are going to use uh, React.js as our frontend. And our API server will be handled by the, we are going to use GoFiber uh, web framework. So in the previous session, we have already worked on our database part and uh, we have uh, successfully made the database connect connection and we created our blog model as well to hold the uh, to map the database table into our the our struct and uh, we had also created uh, these two directories one is for the controller and second one for the router so our idea is that uh, we will have all the business logic into the controller directory and uh, we will have the routing related information in the router directory and the router package more precisely so like uh, like like here we had created an uh, endpoint for the our home route in the our main entry point file in the server file but uh, we will move all these stuffs into the controller controller uh, controller package so that we will have a full fledged mvc architecture so first uh, let us work on our the controllers so we will create a file we will name it blog.go so it will be a part of package controller and uh, here we will create uh, uh, those uh, functions so which will be the endpoints so the first one would be to list the blog so we will have uh, or may or maybe uh, let's call it blog list and it will take a pointer to fiber dot context and it may return an error and uh, uh, we are going to return a plain json actually so we will we will provide json no worries so don't worry so we will do that or for now so let's say c dot status and let us part let us, let us pass 200 so this is our uh, first endpoint and uh, likewise so we will create other endpoints as well so we will say blog create it will also accept a pointer to fiber dot ctx error let me first uh, let us first create the actual the functions first and uh, then uh, we will work accordingly blog update this will also be a fiber dot ctx may, will, may return an error and uh, also i think like uh, let us also uh one more so we will also have a delete function also so blog delete and uh, c asterisk fiber dot ctx will may return an error so we and uh, so these are the four uh, endpoints which uh, we are going to have and first of all let us say we will have a uh, uh we will create a variable contact context uh of fiber dot map so that uh, we can have uh, uh we can pass the the uh, this, this data into the our json object like this so right now this is empty one so don't worry so we are going to add those stuffs very soon and uh, they will have return and similarly we will do the same here also so return and uh, return and return so our, uh, this is the so uh, let me also add few comments so blog list and uh, this would be to add a blog 
this function will add a blog into database no sorry this one is not blog uh, this actually this one is going to add a blog and this is going to update a blog update a blog entry and uh, this will delete the blog so delete a blog so this has this so these are the endpoints and uh, this is for the blog list and uh, we have uh, set up our endpoints and for now so let us say we are going to create so let us first create the structures so we are going to create a few fields by default that is for a status let's say status te status text and it will be the so if everything goes well so we will have we will uh, have we will uh, return the status text so we will say okay and uh, let me duplicate it out and uh, let us say we are also going to return some message and uh, message we are going to say blog list and uh, so let me copy this also and uh, whenever we are going to uh, create a blog so basically instead of returning a 200 so we will uh, return 201 for a new entry and uh, we will say add a blog and uh, we will for a of in case of an update so we will return the regular 200 so we will say update blog so don't worry so we will accept the parameters so nothing to worry about that and for the delete one so we will return delete blog for the given id okay so these are the so our uh, business logic is set up and now we will uh, work on uh, 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 we will work on the routing routing information so on the routing side so inside the router package we will create a file and uh, we will say uh, router dot go and uh, this would be a part of package router and uh, this will uh, th this uh, this file is uh, going to uh, encapsulate all the stuffs relating to related to all the business logic or the endpoints uh, which are available in our uh, application so we will have a function to set up routes and this function is going to accept uh, remember so in the server.go so we have created a, a instance of the fiber app so we will pass this this uh, this app variable so this would be uh, we have to collect a pointer to the fiber dot app so this function uh, will uh, set up all the routing information and uh, since we have we are going to bind our controller uh, controller functions to the respective uh, routing so we need to uh, uh, see we can uh, see, see try to think like we will have the functionality to list that would be a type of get and uh, we will have a add add functionality of type so we will have a post and we will have the update update blog that it be of type we will use put request put method and for the delete one so we will use the method delete delete so you are using the variable app so we can uh, the the fiber provide just like uh, express so we can uh, we can bind we can use the appropriate method appropriately so app dot get and uh, here we have the first parameter we have to provide the route 
so let uh, let us say we uh, for the for the uh, basically for the home route we are going to to provide the home route and uh, we are going to uh, provide the we have to provide the handler function so our handler function is basically in the controller package and uh, our the function one uh, function uh, is uh, the blog list so simply we have to provide this so and uh, second one likewise we have to provide that app dot so we will use a post request and if anything comes in on the post one with the root uh, so it will the request should be handled with the blog create and uh, any request with the put so we will again provide the dot the i mean the root one and it would be a controller dot blog uh, where is the blog update maybe a uh, wrong one or what blog create blog update so it would be uh, controller dot blog yes blog update and uh, any request for a delete so here also we will say controller dot blog delete okay so this thing is ready and uh, we will also need to make it capitalized so that we can export it in our uh in our main in our main entry point file so set up routing in for mission right and uh, all we have to do is in the server file so i will get right of this so we can very simply say uh router dot setup routes and we will simply pass the variable app and uh, uh, now so let us try to run our application and uh, we will say go run server dot go our application is running fine and now if we go to our uh, uh, local host port 8000 so since this is a get request so we are getting the blog list and uh, but we need to check uh, we need to uh, actually we can also test other routes as well so let, let me open the postman so we will simply copy this uh, endpoint so this is our endpoint and uh, this endpoint will work based on the method selected so we will get the uh, appropriate result so just click on this new request new http request and uh, we are going to send a get request for a get request we are we are getting the blog list and if we change the request method from get to post so we are getting that add a blog and when we change uh, from post to put so we are getting the update actually this update uh, blog uh, uh, function is going to be triggered and when we click on this delete so we are going to create that this will delete a blog for the given id so this is how like uh, we have uh, set up our uh, application routing and uh, the business logic we have been we have we have set up our the base uh, basic structure and uh, now i think like uh, uh, we can uh, also like uh, we can also have a log here so that is also very simple that is the there is no such pain so the fiber go fiber provides much uh, i mean many things in a very simple hand very simply so we will say fiber so we will uh, go to the uh, let us let us come at the official documentation and we can log the request as well so there are several middlewares here so like uh, we have the course middleware csrf and uh, there are many things uh, already uh, we have we have uh, we are already getting so all we have to do very simply we have to say that uh, let's say if we want to 
log the uh, whatever API endpoints that are getting hit. So we can very simply say after the variable app. So we will have we will so yes from middleware. So we have to import. So yes, fine. And now we will restart our server and uh, we will uh, reload it. So we should get the uh, whatever the request that got triggered. And uh, from here also, if we trigger, so we will get the log that we that uh, we triggered the delete uh, del the method the the HTTP method was delete, and the endpoint was this. So this is how like uh, we can use middle. So don't worry. So we will uh, work more. Uh, we will see more on the middleware stuff when we implement the course middleware to accommodate like uh, so that our uh, re our api server can take request from the separate front end otherwise uh, our react app uh, will have will uh, will uh, will have to face a course error so that's it for this uh, for uh, this session and uh, we will continue more upon the our our uh, uh, i mean uh, fetching the data from the from this uh, like uh, blog list so we will definitely actually we will we will supply the block list from database and uh, so that uh, uh, our react app can use it so that part we are going to work on uh, in next session until then take care and happy coding